we're taking a look at part two of our mini series with Suzanne McCafferty of Real News PR and her and her husband's journey to have a child. Unfortunately, like many, they've run into roadblocks and felt like they were running out of options. That's until they visited the fertility specialists of Texas. In this story, Suzanne lets us sit in on her first official doctor's appointment and ultrasound to give others an idea of what they can expect. Okay, so I see that you've been trying to get pregnant for about three years, is that correct? Correct. I mean, I know you got your AMH done. So the level was less than 0.03. So that's on the, the low side, as you know, but we haven't done your ultrasound yet, which I'll look to confirm that with an antral follicle count. So today I was a little bit nervous, a little anxious, and as you saw, my blood pressure was elevated, so they had to take it a second time. So before her ultrasound, Suzanne sat down with Dr. Rebecca Chilvers, a reproductive endocrinologist at the Fertility Specialist of Texas, to talk particulars. Oh, I think people come in with a fair amount of anxiety. They really want to be parents, want to be moms, and especially women, they take it upon themselves to make it happen. And so by this time, you know, people have been tracking their cycles, they've been looking at apps, they've been reading a lot of things online, you know, with some support groups, which can be good, but can also, you know, raise anxiety if they've been, um, you know, reading about unfortunate circumstances. So I think at this point, um, you know, I view my role as, you know, a lot of education, a lot of finding out where is this person, you know, from an emotional standpoint, but also obviously medically, you know, what's their prognosis and kind of guiding them down that path. The next step on that path was an ultrasound. I was worried that my uh, my uterus was not in good enough condition to physically carry a baby. There's the top of the uterus here. Your uterus is a little bit rotated. You have no fibroids, which are those smooth muscle tumors. I don't see any of that. Your lining's a little bit thicker than I would expect for low estrogen, so we're gonna get, I'll get all your hormones. Okay. So you've got iliac artery, vein, ovary. But I don't see any other concerns, just, you know, egg numbers, but other than that, your uterus looks healthy. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's exciting, and I can't wait to get home and tell my husband about it. With the ultrasound finished, they're moving on down the list. Uh, I need to get some blood work to get my hormone levels checked, my thyroid checked, and then my blood work just to make sure I'm where I need to be, uh, and then scheduling some additional sonograms. My husband will need to be checked as well. And then um, we'll go from there. So I'm excited and relieved that I can have a baby. A feeling Dr. Chilvers says she hopes most women can experience. Well, I think what I want people to take away from their, you know, from their visit is that it's um, possible for them to get pregnant, to have children. It just depends on what technology I'm gonna have to help them with. There's just lots of ways to make things happen nowadays. Technology is a wonderful thing and you know IVF for instance has you know really high pregnancy rates compared to you know just a decade ago. There's lots of advances in our field. Which are now helping women across the country become pregnant. Oh it's great you know it's it confirms why I went into the specialty uh, to bring joy and and you know healing to people that have gone through a lot. I was hesitant to even try this because I was scared of what the results would be. But now that I'm going through the steps, I'm really excited. So I say just go for it. Once Suzanne gets all of her tests and blood work back, they'll have a conversation of whether or not they need to use an egg donor. Again, she is open to have us film her next appointment, so it might give others the information and the courage to seek help if they're in a similar situation. You can look out for that story in September on Real News Communications Network and the Fertility Specialists of Texas Facebook pages. For Real News, I'm Sarah Strackhouse.